Hey guys, here at the Backspin T, right here at the University of San Diego, and I uh, got to meet Coach Brad Marcelino. And uh, Coach, I appreciate you letting us come out and uh, demo the T, and uh, just kind of one of some of your thoughts for our fans and followers out there about uh, what a high-end university like this is and uh, what it means to, to hit the bottom half of the ball. Yeah, I mean, uh, we uh, completely believe in kind of what this T translates to when we when we use it in the cage. For us, it's a, a matter of, you know. Um, Looking at it from a perspective where when you want to connect with the baseball visually, this kind of does that because you're able to see the part of the baseball you're trying to attack. Um, our guys love it because of the feel also that you get off the tee. Uh, when you look at other tees, really to hit the ball correctly, you're going to, no matter what, hit the rubber part of the tee. But to have it inverted, it really gives you a good feel, a good idea of the ball flight off the tee. I've been very fortunate here to coach uh, three consecutive first rounders. and and guys that can really hit the baseball well. And I think this is going to be just part of our um, daily di drills that we do. So, um, One of the mo more popular names that come through this, this uh, university has obviously been Chris Bryant, who's now with the Chicago Cubs, a uh, wonderful player. And uh, what was a memorable experience that, that, that you remember uh, from him hitting the bottom half of the ball? Uh, I know that's kind of a – it's not new to coaches who get it. It's kind of new to the, the country right now. A lot of little league coaches uh, that, that are searching for better answers. Um, you know, we use the phrase on path, bottom half a lot, obviously on path with the pitch path and the bottom half of the ball. And uh, anything special, any special home run that he may have hit that stands out to you? I mean, they're all pretty special when, when he hits them because <laughs> he hit them out of places where he, they, they said you can't really hit them, hit them out of. And he, uh, uh, there's definitely a, a couple of special ones. But I would say the, probably the, the best part is, and Mike will tell you this, his, Chris's dad is, that's the biggest part of his philosophy is getting the ball up and in, into the air and um, being level on the plane of the pitch. Uh, so he, he really believes in that philosophy as far as keeping the barrel on that upper plane, making sure that we're understanding how to get on path and stay on that path for a long time, getting the barrel in the zone as quick as possible. But as far as Chris, he, he uh, you know, he had a couple of balls here at, at Fowler Park that cleared the, the light tower, the light standard. It sounded oh, like a cannon. Man. Was uh, came off his bat, but um, I I would say there's not really a, a home run that was more memorable than the one that he did hit um, over the light tower here at USD. All of them were pretty pretty wow. majestic though. So wow, and uh, he got a couple of awards while he was here, didn't he? Yeah, Man. yeah, absolutely. I mean, pretty much all every single college baseball award you can get from the Dick Hauser Award, which is the Heisman Trophy of college baseball, to Baseball America Player of the Year and Golden Spikes and you know the list goes on and on so that, that's that's incredible um this is our first time here to the university of san diego and uh complex is wonderful if you guys ever have a chance to, to get out here uh, I, I recommend you do it um coach i appreciate your time no problem thank you very much and best of luck to you this year thank you appreciate it